Well, hello there, YouTubers. It is I, the big, and I dare say big, and I do mean big, D, coming to you live and in person with another fun fact, exciting video. Picking up where I left off, had to get a new headset. Got it for 39 bucks at a pilot. The road track, or road tech, whatever it is. Box is back there somewhere, Bluetooth. For 39 bucks, hey, it's cheap, it's me. And uh, dropped off in Augusta. I had to wait a couple hours to get a forklift over there. You know, you don't get paid for that, but you know, that's the way it goes. And I got it and loaded, and I moved north about a, a little over 100 miles and uh, stopped at a pilot. And uh, then got a call, drove a quarter mile, and picked it up and brought it up to uh, Toledo. So I'm going to go over those numbers. But before I do, have you subscribed to this channel? Why not? You want to hear the facts, and nothing but the facts, so I hope you got. This is the place. The no bullshit channel. No BS here, folks. Harsh facts. Reality. Numbers don't lie. They don't. And some of these numbers don't look good. Just don't look good. No gases up here. In, uh, I think it's Sterling Heights. Yeah, I think it's Sterling Heights, Michigan, where I'm at. Five fifty-nine a gallon. Ah, that's what I said. Unfreaking believable. <sighs> you just pouring your money in a gas tank, and I'm gonna give you some numbers to prove that. That's when it was under five dollars down south. So, like, subscribe, and share this channel. You've got to get the word out, folks. You know. Fuel and everything going up, rates are going down. Now you figure that one out sometime. People are getting out by the boatloads. They're trying to sell the vans they bought for way too much, like we tried them not to. MC and DOT numbers are trying to sell them. They're not worth it, folks. Don't go falling into that trap of, I'm going to buy this guy's MC and DOT number and get out there and make a gazillion dollars. If it was worth anything, he wouldn't be selling it, would he? There you go. I'll say it. You know, if it's worth anything, they're not going to be selling it. They'd be making money with it, but they're not. Why? Because they know it's not there. Now, when I got up there, I got another load coming up to Toledo, Ohio. Toledo. I had to be there by 2 o'clock. It was a tight load. It sounded like, yeah, plenty of time. Picked up at like 2 o'clock. Yeah, it would have been if 26 hadn't been screwed up from construction, heavy rain, wrecks, Friday, traffic jams, and everything else. Got there 45 minutes to spare, and uh, that was an experience getting that unloaded. Automotive freight can be a pain in the ass. But let's just go over the numbers. 136 miles I moved to get up there to get it. 635 loaded. Made $603.25 to drive that. Doesn't sound too bad. But wait, there's more. $216.91 at the cheap gas rate. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which means I profited $386.34 before van insurance. And that's already being calculated into this week, so you can figure on the first load. We took that off. So the rest of this is $386. But the number that's going to startle you, as it did me, is when you divide your gas cost into the money you made, your fuel cost is 36%. So, if you get a dollar a mile, 36 cents of it goes to what? Fuel. That's right. Doesn't sound so good now, does it? Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't. Because let's just take a look at that. Minus, uh, that means you're running on 64 cents a mile profit. That is bad, but you haven't figured all the other, you know, insurance and all these other expenses into all this stuff. So rates are depressed. Drivers are depressed. This one here is a shorty. 
all miles being paid, 278 miles for $278. Going over Fort Wayne. Okay. You figure it's gonna run, you know, roughly 100 bucks in fuel with the 559 a gallon. So, at that rate, I'm gonna make $175. I mean, it used to be when you would cut that in half, you know, you'd have $50, 275, you make two and a quarter, not 175. See why drivers have problems? I mean, when you start figuring that up, that's like 50 bucks on that one. The last one was 150 or 108, so there's $158. And load before that one, you know, a couple hundred bucks, 250, 125. You know, we're now starting to add up for a week a lot more extra in fuel cost. That's right. You know, basically, you're going to be doing another load. Really, it's like that load coming out of South Carolina up to here. I did that just to cover the additional fuel cost I've been exposed to from these gas prices. Let's go, Brandon. Mm -hmm. Sad. Sad. But what do you do? You have to decide whether it's worth it. That's a decision you alone have to make. I mean, after this, I'm going to have about, I don't know, minus, uh, good Lord, try to figure up some math here. A dead head of that one. So when I'm done with this, out of twenty three hundred dollars, van payment, insurance payment for the week. And fuel, that's $1,000. <laughs> $1,000. So you take 2300 and you make, uh, there you go. How do you take those expenses out? So with $200 going to basically the van and payment and the fuel or uh, insurance, I spent $800 in fuel. Now, before that would have been 400 bucks, and I'd have cleared 1700. You know, less depreciation and all that other stuff, but still, this figure, you know, 1700. Now I'm going to clear 13. There's 400 dollars in this week. Poof, gone for gas because of the increase. So that's 1600 dollars a month extra 1600 times 12 comes up to 19,200 say 20 grand because it's still going up you're going to pay an additional 20 grand a year for fuel with the things the way the way things are rates are just continually going down freight is getting scarce and the brokers want higher and higher levels of service. That's right. Unbelievable. They want more, pay less, and have you take the hit. That's why people are selling trucks, selling vans, and getting off this industry. You have to decide whether it's now is the time for you to come out here. I mean, you know, I'm going to clear 1300 But that's six days. Is it good? Mm. No. But it is what it is. What are you going to do? Things are not great on the highway at the moment. 
poles are going up, everything about it, tires, oil changes, everything's going up, except your pay, which is going down. You know, you figure 36% of your cost is fuel, when it used to be like 15, 16, not good. That's a hell of a hit. But that's what you have to look forward to. So you get to live in your palatial palace, your van. And Tim, or uh, Alan just did a video on uh, you know, how to suffer through the heat. It's a good video. You need to watch it over there at Everything Apex. And how do you deal with the heat? I got two turbo fans back there. Hooked up to my batteries. That's how. I get in, I crack these windows down about eh, that much on each side. So fresh air comes in, I hit those turbo fans, it blows over me. Makes it rather nice. Now, it's kind of nice up here, but down in the south, down there in uh, Florida, it was miserable. But I slept good at night. You find yourself some shade. I pulled up to get into the shade here. You're going to have to do a little more, work a little harder, and you're going to have to work a lot smarter. Yet, you still have these people telling you they're getting rich yet. <laughs> no, nothing. And my point is, how come, if they're that good and doing that well, please tell us. We all want to know how you're doing it. I definitely would. You have to decide. I'm just giving you the information to decide by. Is it a good industry? Yes. Do I like what I do? Yes. But is every day butterfly kisses, rainbows? No. Mm -hmm. But you're just going to have to make do with what you have. Tis what it is. This is a big D saying I will update you when I get to the other end on the other side with this load. And I pretty much expect when I drop this off, that'll be it for the weekend. Hopefully Monday I'll get something out of Fort Wayne. I've never done well there. We'll see about this time. Later.